dear students under the topic radius of curvature here we have a question which says that find the radius of curvature of the curve xy is equal to 30 at the point 3 comma 10 now the given curve is in the form of a cartesian equation so if the given equation is in the form of a cartesian equation then the formula for radius of curvature is given by rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d square y by dx square so we have to use this formula if the curve is given in the cartesian form so now here we have xy equal to 30 so from this given equation we have to find dy by dx and d square y by dx square and substitute in this formula so to do that first we shall write the given equation which is xy is equal to 30 now first uh, let us mark this as equation 1 now we have to differentiate equation 1 with respect to x so when we differentiate with respect to x we have to use uv method where we will be differentiating this by using differentiation of uv which is equal to first we shall have u as it is and differentiate v so dv by dx plus next we shall have v as it is and differentiate u with respect to x so differentiation of uv with respect to x is first u we should have as it is and differentiate v and plus we should have v as it is and differentiate u now we shall apply this formula to this equation now here at the place of u we have x and at the place of v we have y so now first we should have u as it is so x we shall have as it is and differentiate v so v is what y so if we differentiate y we get dy by dx plus v so v is y and then differentiate u u is what x if you differentiate x with respect to x you will be getting 1 so that is equal to 30 is a constant so on differentiation it becomes 0 so now from this equation x multiplied with dy by dx will be equal to taking this y to the right it becomes negative y and further from this we obtain dy by dx is equal to negative y divided by x so this is the dy by dx that we have obtained now we have to obtain dy by dx at the given point what is the given point the given point is 3 comma 10 so at this point we have to find the value of dy by dx so at the point 3 comma 10 we have to find the value so that will be equal to so at the place of y we have to replace it by the y coordinate which is 10 so it is negative 10 divided by at the place of x we have to write the x coordinate which is 3 so divided by 3 so therefore we obtained the value of dy by dx at the point 3 comma 10 to be equal to negative 10 by 3 so this we have obtained so after finding this we have to find d square y by dx square by using this so d squared y by dx square to find that we should use differentiation of u by v method so what is the formula the formula is if we differentiate uh, anything in the form u by v it will be in the denominator you will have v square then we will have v as it is and differentiate u with respect to x minus you will have u as it is and differentiate v with respect to x so we have to use this formula because we have dy by dx as negative y by x where y is u and x is v so because it is in u by v form we will be using this formula here so let us do that now so therefore d squared y by dx squared will be equal to this negative sign we shall have as it is so down differentiate y by x by using the method u by v so first we have to write x square here because at the place of v we are having x so we will be having x square in the denominator then we shall have x as it is 
and then differentiate u that is u is what y so the differentiation of y with respect to x is dy by dx minus now we will have u as it is what is u u is y and differentiate v v is x so differentiate we have to differentiate x with respect to x and we know that know that the differentiation is 1 so this multiplied with 1 so we obtain this so now what we shall do we shall obtain d squared y by dx square at the point 3 comma 10 so that will be equal to negative so at the place of x we have to put 3 so 3 multiplied with what is dy by dx at the point 3 comma 10 we have evaluated that to be negative 10 by 3 so it will be negative 10 by 3 minus y y is what 10 so 10 10 multiplied with 1 is 10 only divided by x square x is 3 so 3 square is 9 so this we have to write so that will be equal to minus of now this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled we have a minus 10 minus 10 it becomes minus 20 divided by 3 i'm um, no, i'm sorry uh, divided by 9 so we have we have got minus of minus 20 by 9 which becomes plus 20 by 9 so therefore d square y by dx square at the point 3 comma 10 is equal to 20 by 9 so this is d squared y by dx square at the point 3 comma 10 so now we have to substitute this and this in the formula what is the formula rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx the whole square the whole raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx square so that will be equal to 1 plus what is dy by dx so dy by dx at the point 3 comma 10 we got it to be negative 10 by 3 so we have to substitute that so minus 10 by 3 the whole square the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by d squared y by dx squared at the point 3 comma 10 we obtain to be 20 by 9 so we get 20 by 9 and so that is equal to now here uh, we have to take the square of this so this negative term becomes positive so it will be 1 plus 10 square is 100 divided by 9 the whole raised to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 20 by 9 and so further we have to simplify this so from this row will be equal to what is 1 plus 100 by 9 the LCM is 9 and uh, uh, here it becomes 9 multiplied with, with 1 is 9 9 plus 100 is 109 so in the numerator we have 109 divided by 9 the whole raised to the power 3 by 2 and this 20 by 9 can be written as multiplied by 9 by 20 now we shall simplify this further so this, this will be equal to in the numerator we have 109 raised to the power 3 by 2 which we will write separately divided by this uh, 9 can be, writ na na uh, can be written as 9 to the power 3 by 2 multiplied with 9 by 20 but what is 9 to the power 3 by 2 I will just show you here so if you see 9 to the power 3 by 2 can be written as 9 cube the whole power 1 by 2 so that is equal to 1 by 2 is square root of 9 cube so square root of 9 cube is square root of 9 into 9 into 9 but what is the square root of 9 into 9 it is 9 so that's equal to 9 square root of 9 but square root of 9 is 3 so it will be 9 multiplied with 3 so this is what we get so we shall substitute this here so this will be equal to 109 raised to the power 3 by 2 and this can be written as 9 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 9 by 20. So on cancelling these two 9 we get the final answer to be equal to 109 raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 multiplied with 20 is 60. So therefore the radius of curvature at the point 3 comma 10 is given by 109 raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by 60. So hope you have understood this problem. So this problem is given in the form of a Cartesian equation. So you have to solve it in this method. 
in the same topic we have already done problems on uh, radius of curvature which is given in parametric form and polar coordinates form so kindly go through those lectures also thank you